Rob Pincus. I am live at the yeah. Shot Show 20. Grace. Hey, look at Grace, this guy up here. I mean, just, look at that. great extension, great eye alignment, great trigger press. It looks like this. Oh, hey. Hi, Adam. How are you doing, Rob? How are you? I'm good, good. I'm glad that this is making an impact yeah. uh, on you. I, I know I've, I, I'm i learning a lot right here, yeah. Thanks it, for talking in about slow motion. Moves. Now, you've been watching this for how many days? Uh, I think this is a, a solid straight, give or take 200 hours. Okay, 200 hours of the yeah. same video loop. So those of us who are here working yeah. at SHOT Show, especially if you're in one booth or one co with one company, this is kind of what happens, right? You, you do get the loop over and over again. You get the sound of the slide racking over and over again. What is, uh, what is the most monotonous thing? Because everybody's like, I wish I were at SHOT Show, I wish I were at SHOT Show. What's the thing you tell them that warns them off? Uh, it's the guy who coughs over his hand and then wants to shake your hand. Immediately. Yes, and then you get a SHOT Show plague and you're down for like, not even like a like a wipe off. No, anything. just sneezes just straight, and then just goes straight, here, straight to the hand. So wet handshake. I will tell you that I don't think that shot show flu actually exists. I think it's just the fact that like those that, you travel all the time. Yes. So you probably don't get shot show flu. You probably have survived. Right? We're just I'm immune to it now. Right. Yeah. The yeah. same way because we move. We're always dealing with. I think it's the people that work in like cubicles that yes. then get into Vegas and first it's like Vegas and then they also are like handshake cough and that's what happens. Yeah. Now we just slap them. And we just, give just move, move on. Yep. Just move you on. are too weak. <laughs> you move on. All right, we are in the Hollow Sun booth. I've done a lot of work with you guys. A lot of people are talking about your optics, your um, very innovative optics, right? Yes. So, so let's. What's the latest, greatest, newest while we're here? Yeah. So step over here. All right. Is that right, right where it's free and everything? We're gonna check this out here. Uh, Shot Show 2020 at the Hollow Sun yeah. booth. We're down in what they call the basement. We are. So we have two booths: one upstairs, one downstairs. But let's go to the optics. So we have the 507 C here. So this is our newest optic. This is for your uh, Beretta Nanos. This is for your uh, P365 XLs. This is for your Glock 43, Glock 48, Springfield Hellcats, all those. Um, so it fits that, uh, that size of a frame. We have our battery tray right here, which is one of the things new to our Gen 2s. Both 1632, 20,000 hours on the dot, 50, or sorry, 20,000 hours on the circle dot, 50,000 on the circle, on the dot, mid middle settings. We had oversized buttons now too, so those oversized buttons let you when you're wearing gloves or everything is slippery, let you actuate them actuate a lot easier. We also built in iron sights into this optic. So it doesn't have a solar panel on this model, so instead we built in iron sights. So the guns like the P365XL, it doesn't have a back rear sight, that goes right in there. Um, All right, so it gives you an idea of like what some of the technology is that's going on here, but also this is probably the 957th time that Adam's given that presentation here at Shot right. Show. So you got to remember, like, there's a lot of people that work here every year uh, that come back that really are passionate about what they do. Obviously, you are a passionate shooter, you're a competitive shooter, you're an enthusiast, you're an instructor, you're a trainer, but there's also a little bit of sales pitching that has to go on here. And it, and it is, I was joking before about it being a little monotonous, but it really can be. It's work, and that's the thing. Everybody's like, I wish I were at Shot Show, I wish I were at Shot Show. But the reality is that this is a job for a lot of people here. I'm super happy to be here. Are you coming back next year? Oh, yeah. Okay, so everybody's happy to be here. But by the end of the day on Friday, there's a lot of people who have kind of given that spiel over and over again. And this is the lightest day of the show. You know, traditionally the last few years, I've done the walking tour. We're doing it a little different this year with the SHOT Show feed for NSSF. This is not the walking tour. This is me stopping, putting up these little live videos. You might have seen me get handcuffed by the ASP guys a little while ago. Trying to have some fun with it, doing it differently. Because I like day four. This is day four. It's actually five, day five if you count the uh, Shot University Day or Range Day on Monday. But this is now the fourth day of the show, so it is winding down. People are a little bit more relaxed. There's a little bit more room in the uh, hall. This is about as empty as this hall has been, uh, this aisle, for the whole last week, um, which is really cool. Uh, let's see. I'd want to be at SHOT Show, though. Wish they opened it up to people who do not work in the industry. So let me tell you, I'll, I'll address that a little bit um, you know, from my perspective. Again, none of the opinions expressed by this guy are the opinions of NSSF or the SHOT Show officially, but I will tell you that one of the reasons that this show is so important as a closed industry show is this is really business to business and like so for example this the spiel that Adam just gave he's giving that spiel to people that might be buying you know hundreds or even thousands at the distributor level or the media who are going to share the information that he just gave out with literally millions of people so what's really important is that Adam's time is maximized everybody who's in the booth their time is maximized and incredibly valuable because that one person they're talking to is going to tell you and tens of thousands or maybe millions of other firearms owners or enthusiasts or hunters or whatever it is 
as opposed to you coming in here and asking Adam, hey, tell me about that, and then the same amount of time might only impact one person. And of course, what that means is you've got a lot more expensive show, you've got to have a lot more people, you've got to have a lot more space, and it's just harder to do. You know, there are a lot of great shows out there, the Great American Outdoors show, all the local gun shows, and of course the NRA annual meeting, the NRA convention is a great place for consumers to get to meet some of the same people, see some of the same things, but it is set up a little bit different than SHOT Show, which is a business-to-business -business industry event. So, Adam, thanks a lot. I'll catch up with you. See you soon. Uh, this is probably going to be my last live feed from SHOT Show 2020. It's been a great week for me. I did teach at SHOT University on Monday, and then I had some great meetings. We uh, also have a booth here. One of the things I wanted to show you, if I'm in the right section, I think I am, I'm going to head back over this way as we finish talking. It's really important to understand that the National Shooting Sports Foundation is the industry trade group. They do run the SHOT Show. There are thousands of exhibitors here. They opened up uh, the pop-up area, the kind of new exhibitor area upstairs on the fifth floor. I hope somebody gave you a tour of that area. I'm at the opposite end of the building, down in the basement. As you see, some people call it the dungeon, but it's kind of fun down here. This is actually where my booth was this year, and I was at a booth that was actually donated by the NSSF to Walk the Talk America. If you aren't familiar with Walk the Talk America, you should be. You can check out WTTA.org. It's a mental health awareness and advocacy and educational nonprofit that's doing a lot of work at the intersection of guns and firearms. One of the coolest things we do is right here in Nevada, we have a continuing education program uh, that is approved by the state for mental health professionals. I and Mike Sedini, Jake Wiskirchen, we teach firearms literacy to mental health professionals, psychiatrists, therapists, counselors, all these people who might be asked, hey, Help me out. You know, if you go to them and you are a firearms owner, you're a gun owner, the people that go through our firearms literacy class, you don't have to worry about them weaponizing mental health issues. You don't have to worry about them being anti-gun. They're at least going to be gun neutral. And more importantly, they're going to have some insight and they're going to have some understanding about firearms culture. And that's really incredibly important. So here we are. This is us, Walk to Talk America. We teamed up with Mental Health America. These guys have been helping us out all week, um, giving out some really good information here. Um, check out WTTA.org and all of these booths in this area. Boy Scouts of America here, Archery Trade Association, and a lot of the SHOT Show TV stuff. This is really one of the best places that you can get information if you're inside of the industry about the nonprofits and the people that are doing educational activist advocacy work, whether it's mental health issues, archery issues, americansnipers.org is here, of course, all the good work that they do to support our American snipers that protect our troops and take out those uh, people that need to be taken out. Uh, a lot of good things happening in the background, and the NSF makes it all possible. All of this booth space is donated to these nonprofit organizations that are helping gun owners, helping America, and helping the firearms industry. I want to th thank the NSSF for uh, letting me inform you of some of the things I thought were fun and cool here on the last day of SHOT Show. Thanks to everyone who is attending, everybody who works, everybody who puts SHOT Show on, and uh, we'll see you in 2021.